What's up everybody? It's your favorite Carpal Tunnel's favorite nerd. Today we are looking at the other arm and hand of Uni Toys Bruticus efforts, which is their Vortex. Or Rage Winter Chill. I think they need a chill with these names. Once again, same story as before. It's on loan to me from Titan One, a great third party distributor in here in America that I highly recommend you do business with or at least give him a shot. You can find the link in the description. I wasn't committed to the arm bots and he still sent them to me, his personal ones, I believe, so that I could take a look at them to review for you guys knowing that I wasn't fond of how they look. It says big stuff about him, and I can tell you it's indicative of how he does business. And let's talk accessories, like handbags and scarves, a nice pair of leather gloves. He comes with these two guns, the handles flip up, and then it can get all wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man on you. But he does hold them, although they are a bit loose. And the reason they get all willy-nilly is so you can take them at different angles and plug them into the side of the helicopter for this look. He also comes with two more little guns, and they can plug into his forearms. And they can plug into the bottom of helicopter mode. He comes with these things that plug in here in helicopter mode, or here for robot mode. And with limitless options like this part down or this part up, what more could you ask for? And then he also comes with this fancy hand cannon that has the silver paint on there, there, and there. And you can flip it to look like this. We'll talk about that later. But now, let's talk about the figure. So it has light piping. You know how I feel about that. If you don't, I think it's dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb, Mac. But it's okay. It has a hinge swivel that allows you to make the head look up or down and then side to side and that's cool. Face, pa face plate is painted nice. What's up everybody? It's your favorite tennis elbow's favorite nerd and we What's up everybody? What's up? How now brown cow? The shoulders are at a hinge here at the chest to get them up to there or you can use a universal joint at the shoulder itself getting it up to there which is a nice option to have and then it can also Go down, we'll get that off, swivel around so it's a universal joint, but it's ratcheted. The ratchets feel very bizarre, like they could break at any given moment. Not a fan of that. Nice paint there though. It cuts through that gray very well and looks quite nice. Bicep swivel, right above the elbow. The elbow itself is on a single hinge that gets you over 90 degrees. Wrist swivel, fingers on a base pin knuckle with the index finger individually articulated. For the torso, once again, I'm not crazy about the overall shape of it. Translucent black details. We got this different color plastic there, red paint, black paint, silver paint. So they did give you some accents and you do get a waist swivel, even with this proportionately large backpack, which we'll get to in a sec. And then we have this piece that just flips up and out of the way. You know how I feel about that. I'm not fond of it. We have universal joints for hips, tensioned, and it sounds like a grandma fart. Not good. Ooh, mama. And then front and back ratcheted, inconsistent ratchets. Once again, you. So we got one. We got three clicks that time. Three clicks that time. No other clicks. No clicks this time. You see, that's what I mean by that. Thigh swivel. Right, it built into the universal joint. That's the way to do that. Well done. Knee hinge gets you just about 90 degrees. We got tons of accents, mainly for the alt mode in the legs, but still, I'll take it for robot mode. And I like the general shape of the legs. We have the... They get you a nice ankle rocker here and an ankle tilt there, and then a bit of a heel spur that you can angle down to cheat some poses and stuff, so no real issues there. Back of it is a bit of a disaster. Uh, can we take this off? I haven't checked. No, she seems on there. I think it's pinned right there. So yeah, you're kind of stuck with that, unfortunately. Not the prettiest. Size comparison wise, look, I've done all of these guys. They're all about the same size minus Onslaught, which is to say a bit taller than Masterpiece Cars, a bit smaller than the Zeta Bots, and there it is next to a sea sponge. Speaking of sea sponges, they're quite nice and can get you a lot of interesting designs when painting. You can get some nice wall designs, or perhaps even a cloud on the planet of Felucia. This engineering borrows a lot from Blastoff. Remove the backpack just like you did with him. Flip out these bottom pieces, and then flip out the additional piece. Same for the other side. Position the head so that it rocks down and his eyes are looking at his back. Rotate his chest pieces around 180 to the opposite side. Pull his chest piece out 
rotate the combiner port up to the center and then place it back into position. For the forearms, you want to open the back piece and the front piece, allowing the hand to flip in and then put both back into position. Rotate at the bicep until the bolts line up. Same for the other side. Open the back piece of the forearm and the front piece of the forearm, flipping the hand in and placing them both back into position. And rotate at the bicep until the bolts line up. Rock both shoulder pieces up to the top and plug them in together, being mindful of the landing gear that sits between the two. On the backpack, extend this piece down and then rotate it around 180. Then rock it back down into position. Be very mindful of yours. Mine has major stress marks sitting along here. Stress marks around your flaps. Stress marks around your tabs. If you have a lot of stress marks on your put it together and open your wings similar to blast off take your feet out swivel them around rotate them back into position and this part will tab into there and keep the foot straight let's do that again flip them out spin them around rotate them back and plug this into there. Rotate at the knee 180 on both sides. Split the windshield in the back piece and fold this piece up against the thigh. Same for this side. Bend at this hinge here so that the foot slides into this groove and it wraps back around on itself. Same for this side. Push both of the cockpit pieces down. And don't be like me, be better than me. Before you try to close your legs, make sure you flip your pelvis piece up and plug your two legs together. Hinge around your two front nose cone pieces and plug them together as well. And close your flaps. Fix your propellers by straightening them and then flipping the extension out. Do that times four. And there it is. And I like this one much more than I like the blast off. I think it's much more effective. Um, the, the side guns are a bit much, but they're also kind of cool in their own way, so I'm good with that. I think it, I think it works well. I think it looks, you know, like Vortex is indicative. Maybe not a hundred, definitely not a hundred percent the Vortex uh, kind of alt mode, but I think it's indicative enough where it works. I like all the armory. It's, it is a bit much, but I like it. Some of the red paint here is a little sloppy. If you look on the back, especially along that line there, they got way out of sorts, and it could have used a second coat, but only if they were going to do it properly. That is. Uh, these gun handles, they are a bit shy of how like how much you would like for them to plug in. And to be honest, if they were longer, it would have helped in robot mode as well. So that's kind of a failure as well. But overall, well done. And with Tiger Tracks. All right, flip your propeller ba blades back. Just get them out of the way. Open up this panel. Open up your side panels. Detach the backpack completely, at least on the double hinge. Then you need to undo pretty much the entire leg assembly, which is a bummer because it's kind of the most labor intensive element. Flip the nose cone pieces back around to the side. Be careful when you do so. They are on a C-clip, so you should be able to get them to plug back in. Open up the windshields. Flip the assembly around. Same for the other side. Turn them again at the knee so that the bottom is now on the top. Unplug your foot, spin it around and place the toe down and then spin it back around and plug it back in. Same for the other side. Take the whole assembly on this hinge and rock it up. So it's basically combiner warsing it and collapsing it against itself. Same for this side. And these tight tolerances aren't gonna do you any favors whatsoever. Take your hand with the longer sections this time and plug it into one side of the foot and then collapse the other side on top. And then you want to extend the waist, flip this piece down, split the tail wing, bring your combiner peg down, and then you can collapse that against the stomach. Reconnect the tail wing. Where your elbow bends, fold your flap back up and tuck it in. You can leave the other one out. Collapse the backpack. 
And when you're squeezing it together, be mindful because I put too much pressure breaking this landing gear here. So now I'm definitely at least buying this one. And flip the one flat back. And there it is. And this part is the only part that's kind of a problem to get back together, as you saw. Uh, and then, you know, I have this issue now, which is a real, a real piece of work. And then they suggest that you collapse all of this and have it all extended. I, I think that this looks the best to have these pieces out like that and just keep the propeller short. But, you know, it's personal preference. Otherwise, your, your, our work here is finished. All right, final thoughts wise, let me talk about my issues. He doesn't hold the weapons well, they're all willy nilly. The general shape and proportions of the chest are all cattywampus. The light piping is still stupid. I still can't decide whether or not it's trying to be an MP or a chug. It's like a dragon that doesn't know how to be a dragon. If you know that reference, write it in the comments and you will have my eternal respect. And then the connection and tolerances, which seem to be an issue throughout this set, has caused me to break this thing, and now I'm buying it even though I don't necessarily want it. As far as the positives go, the articulation is on point. The engineering is, once again, interesting and intuitive and flows. It actually flows much easier and more naturally than the blast-off. However, the tolerances are arguably worse. So it's a little bit of give and a little bit of take like all true relationships. There is enough paint and detail and stuff to bring it to life. There's a ton of sculpt work. It just doesn't really match the rest of the set. So with that being said, it's still, it's, uh, I, it's a weak recommend maybe, I don't know. I don't know, man, it's not great. The swindle and the brawl were definitely the best of the set. I'm pretty sure they knew it. I'm pretty sure that's why they came first and now we're left to pick up the pieces. I am highly, highly, highly tempted to pick up the MMC Blast Off and the MMC Vortex, getting rid of these two at some point and having a complete set although it is mixed matched Yay. thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care